Hello, everybody. It's me, Bigfoot Michigan Rob. It's Sunday. I came across something that I'm going to read to you guys that really kind of upset me. And uh, here's what I'm going to say. I respect everybody's opinion, okay? I respect the freedom of speech. I respect all the things that made our country one nation under God. I don't respect, and you know, and it might be a pet peeve of me, it might be a rant of mine, and I don't want you to misconstrue this anyway whatsoever, because I can agree to disagree with somebody. On my show, Brunch with Bigfoot Michigan Rob, I've interviewed and had over 60 researchers on my show. Some I don't agree with a lot of their opinion or maybe what they've done in the field, but it's respectable. And and I listen. I have an open mind. But I will tell you this. I came across an article that I just have no respect for. Because if you're out in the field during your research, and you're hardworking at it, like many of our outstanding researchers have done, they put the work in, boots on the ground, and everything else that they do. And I normally don't rant over something that somebody writes, but really, what really upset me was this article about a guy, he calls himself David Seuss. I'm going to call him Dr. Seuss because it's fiction. Now, what he wrote is well-written. I will give him that, and that's all I will give him. But what this guy says is this, and I'm going to start this article and read it, and you tell me that I shouldn't be upset. As you all know, I've seen a Bigfoot creature or being ancient person Whatever verbiage you want to use and apply is fine. I can go with whatever. Sasquatch, I prefer to say. This guy starts out his article saying, number one, I am not a boots-on-the-ground researcher. In fact, I don't spend any time in the woods because I hate camping. I like nature, but I like seeing it from a distance. I like watching photographs. Excuse me, watching, looking at photographs and watching it from the comfort of my home. But this, my friends, as he states, is why I say I'm mad. This opinion piece is also based on what he says right here. I claim this to be fact without even putting my boots on the ground. And he goes to say this. There is zero physical evidence of an unknown species of large, of a large primate living in the American Northwest or anywhere else. Not little evidence, zero evidence. Again, from a guy who has never even been in the woods, and he's giving his opinion based on nothing but his opinion. The case is overwhelming that the Patterson-Gimlin film, which you can see on pseudoscience television shows all the time, is fake despite the fact that everyone carries a camera all the time, now there is no credible photographic evidence from other witnesses. The good-natured fraudster that made the original Bigfoot tracks that started it all confessed to doing it as a joke, being played on a co-worker's at a construction site where he worked, produced molds he used, and they are in a Bigfoot museum now where anyone can see them. National Geographic recently ran a TV series where they had the DNA of something like 26 samples of Bigfoot. Fur was analyzed and determined that they were from bears, cows, dogs, deer, or even four raccoons. No unknown DNA. What is even more interesting is the belief in Bigfoot from some of the sample takers. They were all sure it was Bigfoot, Some of them saw or heard Bigfoot before they found the sample in one case. A hunter shot the mother Bigfoot, which ran off 
wounded, and then killed a baby Bigfoot and literally stood over it while it died. He described how it looked to police artists, who drew it as a half-primate, half-human face that he confirmed as a good likeness. He was utterly convinced it was not a bear, and he was trained and experienced hunter, a perfect witness. He took the sample so he could prove it was Bigfoot, even though he buried the body, which he claimed, was later scared by scavengers. What did the DNA analyze and excuse me, analysis reveal. It was a common bear. Remember, this guy stood over, gazed into his eyes, and it died, handled it, and buried it. But it was a bear, people. It was a bear, people, claiming this gentleman, Dr. Seuss, is stating. So, is there a Bigfoot? Of course not. Let's be adults here if we can. Why the wet's ride widespread belief in an obvious fantasy. Believers need a little more than mystery in their lives than any otherwise had. Flying saucers and Bigfoot fill the void. And by the way, flying saucers and aliens don't exist either. That's just another fallacy. And you people really make me sick. According to Dr. Seuss. There are worse fantasies I have Excuse me, there are worse fantasies to have, I suppose, like the belief that fruit juice can cure your cancer. And if it makes life more entertaining and the world more interesting to believe in a big hairy creature that's out there or perhaps some aliens prancing across our galaxies or something else dwindling the wilderness, it remains at least a belief. And I guess it doesn't hurt anyone. Well, Dr. Seuss, what this does hurt is research because the reason that you guys, first of all, if you're not pissed off at this article, I'll give you a reason to be pissed off. This was viewed by 845,000 people, of which 80% agreed with his unfounded statements, claiming, again, his opinion based on nothing, he said he was not a boots on the ground guy, doesn't camp, never spent anything in the woods. So his opinion, and I respect anyone's opinion, you can say what you like. But when you make claims like this unfounded without even going into the woods and you get 865,000 people to agree with you, that for me upsets me for the people that are doing the boots on the ground that have been doing it for 40 years. Anybody, even if you're doing it for four months and you're trying to break some ground on this, my hats go off to you because this, once again, is the reason why it's one of the toughest things to move forward in. And my, my friend, and my friends out here listening is the reason why I'm upset about it today. Maybe I'm just being overzealous because I am a believer. But when I hear something like this being read by somebody that really shouldn't have published this, my heart goes out to you. The people that have seen, the people that have believed, the people that are knowers. That's my rant for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, the reading... Of the article wasn't very enjoyable if you're like me. But again, I'm your voice. And I had to get it out there. It's Sunday. Hope you're enjoying your day. This is Bigfoot Michigan Rob. You can see me on Thursdays at noon with text brunch with Bigfoot Michigan Rob. All sorts of great shows. We've got five live shows a week. Subscribe to brunch. Well, actually, with to Bigfoot Michigan Rob and Texas Front Porch to get all the details. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks.